Just how's it going today? I hope you guys are doing awesome. This week we are going to be moving into a little bit of different direction with a work bag. And this is coming up because a few people at work have been complaining that their bags are extremely heavy, don't have organization, and to get a new bag for them is a lot of money. And to me, I get the, I get the struggle. Coming out of college, you're kind of poor. <laughs> Uh, for a lot of people so you know you need a bag that will be presentable in the office but also carry all your stuff and for some people they don't feel very professional with the backpack especially if they're wearing a suit again I've never really had issues with that but some people feel that way so they've been looking for a messenger bag or a suitcase that can do all those things but also the people that I work with are consultants so they travel around a lot and some of them bring their cameras along and they didn't really have a solution for that because obviously the best way to carry those things around are backpacks. So it kind of made, gave me an interesting dilemma to solve because I needed to find something that was extremely functional, extremely durable, but also, you know, have the organization and things to look professional. And then lastly, well, you know, break their wallets. So I went perusing on Amazon and came around across a bag and this, very simple e-starter bag came up again the name kind of got to me because it kind of reminded me of something a little bit more budget but it is budget but this little guy surprised me in so many different ways that i had to do a little review on it so i hope you guys enjoy the e-starter camera bag is a 14 by 11 by 5 inch shoulder bag that has a ton of organizational pockets Despite it being able to carry a lot of items, it still stays pretty sleek on the body and it maintains a nice little traveler look to it. It stays to carry up to a 14 inch laptop, but I found it was able to snugly fit my 15 inch MacBook Pro with no problem. This bag also has larger variants, more suited for 15 and 17 inch laptops, however those variants did not come with camera storage, and that was important for me for this review. The bag is predominantly made of a durable canvas material as well as pleather accents. It overall looks very sophisticated and functional. The pleather accents provide some reinforcement on the bag as well as they are very nice to the touch and provide good pull tabs to open up the zippers. I love that Eastar thought to include extras just in case any pull tabs broke or were lost. The strap is a softer canvas than you see on the bag and it also comes adorned with a pleather accented pad. Overall the strap is extremely adjustable and way more comfortable than I expected. The pad is a nice width to help distribute the weight and it also has a canvas backing so that you don't have to worry about sweating using that pleather. The only gripe is that I can't detach it from the bag, so I can't use it as a briefcase. These are built in and sewn in, so the strap will always be with the bag. So now we gotta go through a really quick rundown of everything that you see on the outside. So you have two small pockets on the outside that allow you to put in field notes, lens caps, or other small items, or go even a little bit larger with something like a Gorilla tripod if you need some stabilization on the go. Along the back, there's a zippered pouch that can store something small like a notebook. However, I wish it did kind of store an iPad. As you see here, it does not. However, if you go on the front side, there is a larger pocket which that iPad could fit into, as well as any sort of notebooks or larger items that you would need. There's also a small zippered pocket that you can use for all your quick access items. So like your phone, your wallet, keys, memory cards, anything small can be put into this pocket just so you can have ready access to this. On the bottom of the bag, there are two nylon straps that allow you to carry an extra larger tripod, or you can also use this to compress the bag if you're holding smaller payloads. And on the top side of the bag, there is some space between the flap and the actual bag itself where you can store a tripod or some kind of scroll or any sort of ninja tech you need in there. Getting to the main compartment of the bag, the flap is locked down using these Velcro pads. The, the pads themselves are pretty strong and are able to keep everything locked down. Because the handle is built into the flap, based on your payload, you may have different experiences. So on normal payloads, you can use this as a briefcase and carry it using the handle with no issues. However, if you're overpacking the bag, the Velcro tabs may not be secure on there or not be able to. So then your bag becomes loose and it might be a little bit strange to carry around as a briefcase. However, if you're able to pack your bag and still make sure that those tabs are in there solid, that means that you will be able to carry this as a briefcase and have no issues. The side compartment is where most of your organization for your smaller items would be, and it's large enough to carry a 9-inch iPad. It can also carry a lot of your adapters, cards, pens, 
most of the things that you would need in a business meeting um, can be easily accessed through here in a nice organized manner and will pretty much keep everything in lock so it won't be jostling around in your bag when you are running around with it. I also do like the fact that they've included a little clip on for your keys. It makes it all very nice and secure. The main compartment is quite large and has a padded sleeve for your laptop. You can carry your mouse, your cables, an extra keyboard, any sort of other peripherals that you might need. And it is also very, very spacious for another reason. The bag does come with a lovely padded camera cube. And this camera cube is a little bit unique because it does use soft materials instead of the nylon that you're used to. I don't know how I feel about these yet because I do feel like they're nice to protect and make sure things don't get scratched, but I do question if they're sturdy enough to actually make sure that your camera and your lenses stay secure. However, in my usage so far, everything seems like it's pretty safe, so no complaints here. I do love that I'm able to still carry around this camera cube and all of my lenses pretty safely while still having my 15 inch laptop as well as other peripherals like an iPad, notebooks and other things like that without having to worry about my bag being overstuffed, being too heavy or uncomfortable. Eastar has done a great job with this bag and it's awesome for the price. So I can't recommend it enough. So I hope all that has helped you really understand how much I like this bag. I was really, really surprised by what it had to offer, especially at a $36 price point. I mean, the bag itself is made of awesomely d durable materials, and there's a ton of pockets and organization sleeves here that will really carry everything that you need in a secure manner. I mean, the whole thing is 36 bucks and super comfortable, even co more comfortable, some of the more, more expensive bags that go in the hundreds. And they have literally everything or at least enough space for everything that you would need for a meeting, so technology, notebooks, pens, etc. So it makes it a really, really good introductory bag. So if you're new to the workforce and not looking to splurge or break the bank on your first bag, this is a good way to do this at a low risk because it's gonna last you, it's gonna store all the things that you need, and it works for multiple scenarios. This works for work, this works for play, this works for cameras, which is extremely important to me, as you know, because Toting cameras from city to city kind of sucks, but this bag kind of made it simple and I didn't have to necessarily have a backpack all the time. So, really easy to carry around. E-Star has done a great job with this bag and I think you should check them out. I think you'll be happy. Again, low risk option if you need a new work bag. Um, that is like no frills, no nonsense and just very, very comfortable. But anyway, I've been appreciating the suggestions, keep those coming, but as always, please comment, like, subscribe, do all the things that you normally do on a video you like and love, and as always, appreciate ya. Later!